drench the steeples, drown the cocks! You sulfurous and thought executing fires! Fought couriers of all cleaving thunderbolts! Singe my white head! And thou, O shaking thunder, strike flat the thick rotundity of the world! Crack nature's molds! All Germain spill at once that makes it grateful man! Oh, uncle, court holy water in a dry house is better than this plain water out of door. Good uncle, he is the knife that pities me the wise man, no fool. Rumble thy belly full! Spit fire! Spout rain! Nor rain, wind, thunder, fire on my daughters! I tax not you, you elements, with unkindness. You owe me no subscription. Then let fall your horrible pleasure. Here I stand your slave. For firm, weak, despised old man. But yet I call you servile ministers that will with two pernicious daughters join your high gendered battles against the head so old and white as this. This fall! He that has a house to put his head in has a good headpiece. He copies that little house before the head has any. The head that he shall lose, so beggars marry many. The man that makes his toe when he his heart should make shall have a cold time well and turn his sleep to wait. For there was never yet fair woman. Oh. In the pattern of all patience, I will say nothing. Who's there? Mary, here's Grace and Anna Con. That's a wise man and a Sir, what's here? Things that love at night, though not such night as these, the wrath of guys gallow the very wonders of the dark and make them keep their pain. Since I was mad, I should cheat the fire. The girls are roaring, wait and pray, and never remember to have heard. Their ah. nature cannot tear me, the flesh it, nor the fear. Let the great gods that keep this dreadful put over our heads find out their enemies now. Tremble, thou wretch, that has within the undivulged crimes unwhipped of justice. Hide thee, thou bloody hand, thou perjured, thou similar of virtue that art itself. Incestuous, Kate, to pieces shake that under covert and convenient seeming has practiced on man's life. Close pent up guilt and writhe your concealing continence. Cry your summoner's grace. I am a man more sin against than sinning. A lad, very headed. Gracious, my lord, part like you is a hovel. Some friend to toll offer you against the tempest. Repose you there. Not to this hard house, more hard than the stones were after his race, which even but now, demanding you, denied me to come in return, and force your scanty courtesy. Strange and can 
big file of things precious. Poor fool and man. I have but one part of my heart that's sorry yet for thee. He that has a little time with, with hey ho, with dimmer, must make content for fortune's fit. For rain it, rain it, it's dead. True. This is the prophecy of our child, for I 